Hello you beautiful creatures, how the devil are you? I hope you are well. If you're new here, my name is Lou, or Lucifer, as my friends like to call me. By my friends, I mean my ever-growing army of demons. I am not alone, no, I am with my pumpkin, the man who I would kill for, otherwise known as Gareth. Or Foxy. Who's excited for the Five Nights at Freddy's movie? I know I am. Um, we're just doing this on the fly. One, because Gareth is very tired. He hasn't slept well. He does nights now. Um, and, and wrestling. And wrestling. And also because... I, just, I don't know. My brain just doesn't do things. We're doing autographs today. Yes. So it's a lot. Long time of, yes, it has. So a lot of you guys have been asking to see our autograph hall. Now, as you know, we go to a lot of conventions. And we've got a lot of planned this year. A lot of conventions. <laughs> we are going to the full weekend of for the love of horror, aren't we? Full weekend for love of horror. Liverpool. Um. Possibly Comic Con Wales, possibly Comic Con Yorkshire. Yorkshire. For the love of sci fi, when they start announcing guests. For the love of horror. Yeah, we said that. No, Horror Con. Horror Con. That's the one. You shouldn't have horror in both of your names. Um, you're tall. You're really tall. There we go. That's the badger. Uh, so yes, we haven't necessarily done haul videos after we finish from our convention trips just because. We haven't really bought a lot, uh, merchandise-wise, however, we've... We meet guests. <laughs> we've bought quite a few from different guests, haven't we? I'm more of the photo-op type person, you're more of the autograph type person. Mm. So we decided to condense it all into one video for you guys, um, do a little bit of a talk about the different autographs we got, the different experiences we've got. We did a 2022 roundup at the end of last year, basically talking about our top five favorite guests. My top five, Gareth's favorite top five, with also an honorable mention being Bruce Campbell because daddy. Um, anyway, Groovy. <laughs> I really hope you enjoy this video and have a horrible time in the best possible way. We're just doing this on the fly. Shall we begin? Yes. Right, okay. We don't know where. Let's see what we've got. So, we don't just do conventions, we do a lot of gigs as well. And if you're very, very lucky, um, a lot of the supporting bands they like to do autographs. That's just a print, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, for example, we went to go and see Battle Beast and they were amazing. Uh, we have got one of their records actually that and has. CD. And CD. And just really, really love Nora. Uh, <laughs> and they have their autographs on them. But they had Future Palace uh, basically warming up for them and they gave away free autographs, which was really, really nice. We got to meet the band, we got a photo with them, which I'll pop here so you can see that. But that was. We didn't know that that was going to happen. Sorry. <laughs> stealing my autograph. It's almost like we got the same one. Um, we didn't know that that was going to happen. So that was something very on the fly. It was something very unpredicted. So if you are going to go to a gig at any point, just kind of have a look around, maybe around the merch table. They might have something there for you. You never know. And then we went to go and meet Papa Amaretus the fourth, and it was divine he also gave out well he didn't give out there and then but he also did autograph sessions i don't know if you can see it it's, it's done in black oh god yeah there we go oh, there. there you go that's the badger so when we went to go and meet him we had our photos which i'll pop here and then uh they sent out the autographs separately that was done by banquet records mm. so what, there's a vlog about that as well and there's a vlog about that as well everything that's mentioned in this video i'll either pop up here or down in the description below just because i'm only allowed five buttons up here it's true, there's a limit. It's true, a it's limit. true. yes, yes. So that's pretty much all of the kind of band uh, autographs and stuff like that that we've got. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we got Future Palace, we got Papa Amaretus the Fourth, and we got Battle Beast, which I will pop here for you somewhere. It's a very beautiful record. We have a rule. Well, it's not really a rule necessarily. It's a 
if you're going to get an autograph it's it's nicer to meet the person in person however there are a few instances where that's not possible mm. so for example gareth was very wonderful and he actually got me a sid haig autograph obviously it's not personalized because you know it's not but that is a gorgeous sid sid haig autograph for you what does it say try the fried chicken yeah try the fried chicken but i was i was very taken aback by that because you know i never got to meet him which is a damn shame because he's one of my favorite horror actors of all time but it is what it is uh, well if you're doing um not met i will start off with quinn lord heck yeah who played sam in trick or treat mm. i got this one at sir for the love of sci-fi there's a, a company there UK convention scene, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they did a private signing with Quinn, and this was, believe it or not, overstock and 15 quid. And it's Beckett certified. Yeah, so if you are going to go to a stall, an autograph stall, and it sounds too good to be true, check if there's an authentication mm. or query the vendor about it, because that's what you did, didn't you? Yeah. You said, you know, 15 quid. That, that sounds too good to be true, and then he explained And then he what... was like, yeah, no, it's, fine. it's true. That's how much we charge. That's how much we charge. Give it. I'll have it. Well, yeah, but he explained the reasoning behind it and then showed yeah. you that it was Beckett yeah, yeah. authenticated. I'd much rather you guys watch this vlog and we give you tips about getting autographs and not get done over hmm. and maybe get something that's not actually what it seems it is. Because you can get autographs, there's a, there's a few companies that over in the States, there's CPA Authentics, there's CSR Collectibles, mm. they do a lot of live signings, plus also you can get the option to add a Beckett certification. Yeah. Um, so we want, we're tempted to jump on the Amy Donald live signing. Megan! She's the physical actress who played Megan. Megan! In Megan. <laughs> Sorry. If you haven't watched the film, you really need to watch it. It's really good. Your turn. Yeah. My turn? Yeah. Oh, how exciting. Yeah. We're taking turns. Okie dokie. Sorry, I get a little bit emotional. Because there's, there's ones that are duplicates for the both of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I adore David Tennant very, very much. We both do. Mm. He helped us a lot through our childhoods. Uh, we were both bullied. You probably couldn't tell. <laughs> so weird oh. anyway um yes we met david tennant which was absolutely fantastic again we vlogged it we vlog everything we do we vlog all our experiences so you guys can kind of check out what it is before you think about going and we yes so we got our autographs so what they'll usually do is if you're new to the autograph kind of scene idea they have a table in front of where you actually meet the guest and then mm. they've got a selection of different photos that you can take they also sometimes show you on the website so you can, you can pre-order you can pre-order essentially london film and comic con do that a lot yeah especially for your bigger guests and also if you can't make the convention no which is really good just just be careful with certain conventions yeah london film and comic con um anyway they have been known to you send in the money and you never get the product you never get the product or you ask for something specific and they never actually do it so please just be mindful about that also i got my photo with him because why wouldn't i look at him there you go, there go. Yeah. he was wonderful i loved him very much but yeah you pretty much got the same thing didn't you yeah. but you got a different photo mm. He was very wonderful to meet, very, very wonderful to meet. I also will say that with autographs, if you look at certain ones, some might look a little bit rushed. Now... Yeah, loads of celebrities, I mean wrestlers especially, Yeah. Uh, will have a full signature and a quick signature. Yeah. So I've got a Hardy Boys dual signed piece by both Matt and Jeff mm. and Jeff Hardy's autograph um, I got his medium one which is essentially his autograph is a work of art yeah it does look pretty cool to be it fair it is a work of art his um, full autograph is the work of art with his name mm. and then his quick one I think it's just like a, a squiggle 
Yeah, so I know that a lot of people who have been meeting Joseph Quinn recently, <sighs> get me there. Um, unfortunately, because he is so rushed that he is missing out a few different bits and pieces. Like one poor girl, her name, he didn't spell her name properly. I'm so sorry to whoever that was, but you've got to realize that these people can be incredibly rushed. So if you notice that your autograph doesn't necessarily look the same as somebody else's, it's it's not any less important. Please don't think it's any less important or it's crap. It's just because this person is so in demand and so busy. So I just thought I'd pre... But quick tip, take a post-it note with your name on it. Yeah. Take a post-it note, pick up your picture, hand them both over, mm. and then they've got the name there. Like you're going to mention now because I see that you've got Mads Mickelson. Yeah, he's next. So Go on. So we both met Mads Mickelson. Um, go on, go on. So the whole rule of thumb with conventions, if you don't ask, you don't get. Nah. And sometimes you can ask for a quote. I asked if Mads can put eat the rude, and I, he did. I didn't get that. Oh, you, I got it in red pen. You got it in red, but you didn't ask. So. It's because I was crying too much, but to be fair, I did get my, uh, my photo up with him. Just look at his little, his little Danish face. Look at him. He's beautiful. He was stunning. He was so nice to me again. Like, we have been incredibly fortunate with the guests that we've, we've met. Never, we've never had a bad guest. We've to never date. had a bad. Actually, you know what? I take that back. Matt Hardy. Yeah, he wasn't he was bad. Quiet. He wasn't bad. He was just quiet. He was just quiet. And. Uh, like, I met Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly and Kyle was a bit quiet, but he was still pleasant to talk to. Yeah, it just goes to show that the people they present as on screen is completely mm. different to the people that they are. But from other conventions like for Love of Horror, Sci-Fi, Wales, London, we've not had a problem. Perfection. Everybody has been perfect. We also met Jamie Campbell Bower. If you don't know him, he's Vecna from Stranger Things. Uh, he is also, oh God, I forget his name every time from Sweeney Todd. Thomas, is it? Oh, wow. We will research and put it yes, in Yes, I'll, po I'll pop it down below because I always do. It's quite funny because when I'm editing, all of the writing you see underneath, if we messed up and I put a correction, it's like really snarky. <laughs> it's like I'm fighting against mm. myself. It's very, very funny. Anyway, yes. So we met Jamie Campbell Bower. He was absolutely wonderful again in his photo op he was gorgeous such a wonderful person uh he personalized it for me i didn't have to ask him so a lot of the time they will say you know do you want it personalizing do you not want mm. it personalizing the main reason that people don't have it personalized is because it's so they can sell it on yeah i'm saving space <laughs> nick castle and james duke courtney behold the Invisible Man. Um, well, yes. As soon as you've got that one ready. Da, 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 da. He's the man, he's the myth, he's the chicken legend. It's David Howard Thornton as Art the Clown. And yes, he did do a photo op as Art the Clown. You don't need to see my face. You don't need to see that. He was superb. And then I'll say I got... That, I, as soon as I, the original picture I wanted, because they have a big selection, the original one I wanted was from Terrifier 2, where he's sort of leaning against the wall with his hand up. Saw that and I saw there was a massive gap on the side. I was yeah. like, mm, I don't really like that. But then I saw this one and I fell in love with it. And I was like, that is an amazing picture. And he even personalised it with um, Kill Him With A Smile. And what do you put for you? Uh, you're a real cut up. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, stop flirting with me. But then staying on the Terrifier theme, I also met Damien Leone, who's the director. He was stunning. He, he was, was great. good fun. Like, the whole Terrifier cast and crew were just wonderful. Yeah. If um, Samantha Scafidi. She was great. If you haven't seen Terrifier 2 yet, oh my god, you need to watch it. It is mm. demented. It is disgusting. Sorry, Tina and Baz, but we love it. Had a little bit of a sickie. <laughs> Anyway. Tasty. But yeah, the, um, Carl, I'd love to meet them again and also to add to the Terrifier collection. I'd want to meet um, Lauren Levera, who is 
the new final girl. Oh yeah, she definitely is. <laughs> She's hot. Um, the girl who sings Clown Cafe. I love that song. It gets stuck in my head. Rent free. Uh, and also. Um, the little pale girl because I think she's actually quite an iconic character now. No, I think she's iconic. So my gripe is we'll have a debate about this in the comments as well. And it wasn't and it wasn't until Gareth told me how old she actually was. So I believe an actor or actress. Or actress should only go to a convention when they're a certain age. Just because of how demanding it is, how intense it is, and sometimes some of the customers can get a little bit strange um that's just my personal opinion i've got nieces i've got a nephew i'm incredibly protective i've now got a nephew you have as well congratulations <laughs> it's lovely his name's rory um i can't wait until we have kids Aww. i can't wait until we have kids anyway so because i've brought up children i'm very protective i'm very maternal I see it from that perspective. However, if they're happy to do it, if they're chill, if they're all right, if they're fine, okay. But it just, I don't know, it just, it, it really makes me feel not great about it. But that's just me personally. Mm. That's just me. Anyway, we met Corey Taylor. <laughs> I got the autograph. I got the photo off. <laughs> so. And we filmed it all. Yes, we did. If you want to check that out, you know what to do. It's literally up there. Um, yeah, so I didn't have enough money to get both because he was quite expensive. So Not as expensive as we thought. No, actually. no, no. But depending on which which guest you meet mm. depends on the price. Don't think that they're all going to be the same price because they're not. Mads Mickelson costs more than Corey Taylor. This is a beautiful man. <laughs> this is a beautiful Danish man. Um... And then I met oh, David Norton. Well, yes, we both did, but I got the I got my photo with him, which I popped here somewhere. Yes, you did. He was wonderful. He was perfect. American Wealth in London there we is my second favourite horror movie. Sorry, of all time. <laughs> there you go. Yours <laughs> is better than mine. Um but he also personalizes it as well he pretty much just says beware the moon on all of them which is fine yeah. I'm, I'm not upset with that uh american wealth in london is my second favorite horror movie of all time next to evil dead 2. he was just wonderful really really great uh he spoke to us quite a while didn't yeah, he yeah. he spoke to us for a while and we watched a bit of his panel yes he was he's got a wicked sense of humor mm. he is just phenomenal he worked with um oh god the young ones big male yes and he was just saying yeah i worked with him didn't speak to him though what <laughs> what because <laughs> rick it was rick male's first movie yeah and then it, his, his popularity then blew up. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's fair. Yeah. Please. Uh, I imagine you're doing that one. So I'm going to go... One of my favourite movies of all time is Scream. I love the franchise. Absolutely love it. And I'm for, actually fortunate. I've not just got one, but I've got two Roger Jackson autographs. And... Yeah, but you won one, didn't you? Yes. Oh, hello. That's... Oh. I only just noticed that. What? So the one, so there's a, there's a mark on one of them. He gets it. stressed. And anyway, but I got one from CPA Authentics. Um, yeah, CPA. And then this one was when we met him uh, for the love of horror, and he was an absolute dream. We even picked up a calling card, uh, his little business card. So the idea for our wedding, which we don't know if we're going to live stream a few bits of it. I'd like to. Um, when we get called into the reception we're actually going to have a phone call go off over the speaker and it's going to be ghostface introducing us as husband and wife because we are so freaking extra anyway i met the burns twins from the shining and they wrote two little things either side uh, they were adorable to talk to they were adorable they got really worried because 
these are heavy these are very very heavy and i was holding them and she was like oh are you all right dear you look like you've got a headache and i was like no it's just my horns are really heavy and she was like oh you should give yourself a rest <laughs> <laughs> what did they write on your... Uh, so, on one side... Uh... Uh, so there was... The... Yeah, so from your namesake... So there was it was Louise Burns who signed first. Yeah. And then Lisa. <laughs> and her sidekick. <laughs> it's very, very cute. Very cute. They were... 25? Uh, 40 for the pair. 40 for the pair. Which is really good. That the is shiny. really, really good. Uh, I'm going to stick on the Scream train. Yeah, you are. Um, he was an absolute legend for the love of horror. <laughs> absolute legend. The one, the only, David Arquette. So nice to talk to. I actually spoke to him more about wrestling because he is a former wrestler because he's actually retired. But we spoke about wrestling because I think everyone was talking to him about Scream and the movies. It was so nice to watch you interact. One yeah. of my favourite bits about going to conventions with Gareth is watching his little face light up. It's true. And Tina and Baz caught the tail end of it. As yeah, well, they did. The From the shore. Please go and check them out. We're nowhere near as big as they are, but, you know, we, we help each other out. They're wonderful. Tina and Baz are amazing. We love them to pieces. Are you going to... I got Sean Pertwee from Dog Soldiers. <laughs> I also got a photo here. But yes, I got Sean Pertwee. And I did. And you also got Sean Pertwee. There was one thing Sean said is that um, because they didn't do many set photos, all of them were yeah. really screen grabs. So you can't actually get any professional Dog Soldier photos. Mm. So, unfortunately, the best you're going to get, like Gara said, is screen grabs. Um, and, then I, and then you were with me as well, but I also got Darren Morfitt. Darren Morfitt. Who's Spoon. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. I said that and I tried to throw hands with a ghost at my haunted hotel. If you want to see that, check it out. But yeah, Dar Darren was such a gentleman. He was concerned about your eyes. So he did, He couldn't grasp the concept that I got contact lenses in. And he came over and he was like, are you okay? Yeah, mentally no. Physically, yes, I'm fine. He was wonderful. Please get him back. Please get him back to Comic Con. This is your highlight. My boy. It's only Ash Williams, Bruce freaking Campbell. Hang on, hang on, I'm ready. So you keep yours up. Yeah, just go on go. then. <laughs> yeah, so obviously I got mine from Army of Darkness. Gareth got his from Evil Dead 2. Evil Dead 2, which incidentally I should have got that one because it's my favourite horror movie of all time, but we move. You prefer his face in that one. I do prefer his face. I think he's very beautiful. And then this one only kind of got a freaking photo with Bruce Campbell. There we go. You are a digital version, haven't you? you yes, I have. Beautiful boy. So with something like that... I had to buy the frame separate. So please don't think that with your photo ops you get that for free, you don't. That cost me 20 quid, I think. 30, wasn't it? 30. <laughs> 30 to get it framed. So with certain conventions, we noticed they did it at Monopoly events. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, I was like, how much are they asking for a piece of cardboard? They weren't, they were just putting them all together. You do actually get the frame as well. So if you get a very special photo op that you want to kind of commemorate, I would say they're worth it personally, but that's just me. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, but also when we met the wonderful Bruce Campbell, yeah. we also met Dana De Lorenzo. She was stunning. From Ash vs Evil Dead. I can't repeat what she wrote on mine because... I can't repeat what she wrote on mine either. Oh. Yeah, this is exactly the same. She says, Lou, I effing love you. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> so much so that they are both commemorated on my arm for the rest of my life. Yes, and I got the quote, F the clock, which is on one of her costumes in the, yes. in the TV show. They were wonderful. Absolutely they were absolutely wonderful. wonderful. Get them back. Um, Bruce Campbell... 
He is one of the kinds of people where he has a quick autograph and a standard autograph just because of I how... That, I think that's his standard one, actually. Yeah, it Every is. Every autograph I've seen is that. See, some of them aren't. No? If you look online... I've always seen those ones. Yeah, no. Some of them are a bit rushed. But... But he's a busy guy. Like, this is the first time we've ever had Bruce Campbell over. So, mm. well, not necessarily to... He's been over a few, a few other times before. But he's, he's done a, book signing. He's a lot rarer over in the UK. You've got a signed book by him. I've got a signed book by him. Uh, he is a lot rarer over in the UK than he is in America, which is absolutely he's fine. He's got his own convention in America. He's got his own convention. <sighs> Bruce Fest. I love that man so much. <laughs> anyway, we met these guys. Heck yeah. Keep it in the family. That's right. Brad Dourif and Fiona Dourif, they were absolutely stunning. Well, you met Fiona. Yeah. I was in the queue waiting for Brad. It was a big queue. The organisation was awful for that convention. It was nothing to do with Brad. He was doing a phenomenal job. Yeah. Like, you know, he is getting on in age mm. and he, he needs to stop for breaks, which is absolutely fine. However, the queue wasn't manned properly. They were constantly... Um, diamond passes and vip guests going mm. in so they weren't merging the two queues together and that was the issue with it but honestly he <laughs> so I, I i gave him the picture and then he just started like coloring in the axe <laughs> i was like i love you i love you brad but i need to go and meet your daughter never mind i haven't got time it's fine it's fine but she also personalized it as well which is really nice. I think she's... Yeah, she personalised mine as well. Yeah. So we've got very different kind of... Different quotes. Different quotes. And... I think mine's from Curse of Chucky. Uh, Curse of Chucky. I think they're both from Curse. Yeah, yeah. So this is the thing. If you want a, a certain quote, don't be afraid to ask, but just be mindful that certain actors certain guests mm. haven't got the time to do it sometimes it will just genuinely be your name and yeah. then their autograph which was what bruce campbell did but that's fine that's absolutely fine like we get that they're busy it's it's all good it's all gravy and then we're moving on to our horror con guests aren't we yeah well we're just going through with do you want to take this one so he was a last minute addition to Horrorcom. Yes. And I've always I've always said I need a hell I want a Hellraiser collection. And it started last year by meeting Nicholas Vince, who is the chatterer. Yeah boy. Uh he's also in Nightbreed as Kinski. Yes. Who's the half moon. But also he does these little these yeah, little he versions draws. of the chatterer. So yours yeah. is a little bit different to mine. Yeah, mine's the colour version and yours is the black and white version yeah, yeah, the same yeah. print. But I, I always love the Chatterer. Chatterer is wonderful. Chatterer is my favourite Cenobite. Yeah. Over Pinhead. <sighs> Controversial, but sure. But if you notice in mine, I have a space. And you'll probably be moving yours over to a different page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this year we are meeting Doug Bradley. <laughs> Finally! <laughs> and you're getting a picture with The me. man who helped me with my sexual awakening. Kids, don't stop. Just don't don't think about it. I thought he was very attractive, this pinhead. Anyway. It's not a family friendly. We also met Malcolm oh, McDowell. Did you get an autograph from him? No. Oh, okay. Yes, so I absolutely, for the most part, I adore the film Clockwork Orange. Some bits I obviously can't watch. Um, but he was wonderful, incredibly gracious, very, very nice man. Um, Vidi well, yes, if you've seen Clockwork Orange, you'll know exactly what that is. But he was wonderful, he was very, very nice. He also had different bits of merchandise that he could sign as well, just because mm. he's got such a plethora of things he's done. He his, had... his whole table is literally the span of yeah. the whole queue. He had books, he had scripts, he had a Clockwork Orange script that Pops. you could get signed. Pops. DVDs. everything but with that just be mindful that it will be an extra cost yeah uh the prices do change yeah especially if you're getting a pop signed uh prices do shoot up yeah i think because they're so highly collectible yeah pop vinyls mm. what do you think about them love them or hate them pop 
it in the comments below. <laughs> pop it. No. Ah, twist it. Pull it. Bop it. Bop it. And um, while we're at Horicon, um, one of my again my favourite horror movie of all time is the 1978 Halloween. Ta da! Represent. That's why I want to meet Nick Castle. The original shape. Um, but in attendance, we had Nancy Loomis and Charles Cyphers. So N Nancy played Annie. She was the one who got killed in the car by mm. Michael. And then Charles Cyphers played Chief Brackett. And he, he was he was great to talk to. I asked, he reprised his role in Halloween Kills. And I asked him what was it like getting the call to reprise the character. He went, well, I made a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> We like honesty on this channel, oh, yeah. and he was very honest. Um, yeah, still haven't been able to watch the movie yet because we can't. It's on Prime now. It's on Amazon Prime. Yeah, but do you have to buy it or? Yes, you do. Same for Hellraiser. Jeff Daniel <laughs> Phillips, what a man! He was wonderful. He was great. He was very candid for the um, vlog, wasn't he? Oh yeah. He was great. He was oh, laughing. He, bro it he off. broke the rules. I mean, did he? Yeah. Oh, whoops. <laughs> so London Comic Con, you were, you're there getting his autograph, and he looks over at me because I'm holding your camera. And he went, "Is that a camera?" I went, "Yeah." Go on then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying we got a free selfie, but we kind of did. I'll pop and then he you. waved. <laughs> and then as of, as we were doing the walk around, so what Gareth likes to do with the vlog, he will do all of the B-roll, which is great because it shows the space in general. Mm. It gives you a kind of idea of what it's like. Almost like a tour for you guys. And Jeff Daniel Phillips was wandering past. <laughs> he <went>. And he just... <laughs> <laughs> yes, we've got you. It's fine. <laughs> Still haven't managed to watch it yet. I'm desperate to watch The Monsters. I know a lot of people have said it's rubbish, but I don't care. Like, I love the campy, quirky comedy that comes with The Monsters. I think he looks great as Herman. He was also great in um, the other Rob Zombie movies. I really enjoyed him in 31, personally. Mm. Not my favourite Rob Zombie movie. But speaking of 31... Ah, segue. Well, I I've, as soon as I saw the opening monologue, I was, like, I was hooked, and I complimented uh, this gentleman, Richard Brake, and he was such a nice guy. Yeah, he was. And honestly, if you want to see a fantastic monologue, watch that. It's so good. I think what I think what we enjoy about going up to tables together is we ended up in like a four way conversation. Yeah. And they were was, next to each other. Yeah, it was wonderful because it was like, you know, we were just chatting like old friends. And I'm a very anxious person in general. So having Gareth there with me helps. Helps me to get my words out. Like now. Um, so yeah, having, having that kind of experience, having that conversation with them all was really, really nice. I'm going to move on now. This was a beautiful moment. I cried a lot. We met... Nick Frost. No, no, that's Paddy. Damn it! Show yours. I'll find mine. Yeah. Ah, there we go. I even made this for her. I know, it was a Christmas <laughs> present. We met Nick Frost. So, the reason why I've got such a long message <laughs> on mine is because I needle felt, I needle felted a little Nick Frost for him, a little uh, Ed. Ed. Shaun of the Dead is one of my favourite horror movies ever. I think it's so funny. Mm. I quote it all the time. When I had a bit more weight on me, I was like Ed. I was exactly like Ed and I love him so much. So I gave him the needle felt in and he just lost his mind. He was like, my wife can use this to kill me with. And I was like, <laughs> no, that's not what it's for, but sure. Okay. And he even wrote it. Um, he wrote that on my autograph. So if you do have gifts, I'm not saying that they can necessarily accept them all the time because unfortunately you Bruce, had one for Bruce. Bruce couldn't accept mine and that was because he was like, listen, if one person sees me accepting yours, I'm going to have to accept everybody's. Mm. The luggage pricing to get back into America is going to mm. be astronomical. And I was like, no, you know what? That's fair enough. So please just bear in mind yeah. that... Just meeting them is, yeah. is enough. Whilst you might have put all that effort into a gift, mm. they can't necessarily accept them all the time. But when they do, 
it's a really great experience like it gave me a, a way of talking to him and having something to talk about so much so that when i went to go and have my photo up with him he was he was very flustered because of how fast it was yeah but when he saw my face he was like oh my god it's you again i was like that's so special um but yes please continue so i don't and i, I got hot fuzz because he got an i love you i did yeah <laughs> i fancy him so much i also fancy him i was half expecting a face palm then. Uh, should we move on to his co-star yeah we also, at uh, the recent London Film and Comic Con, we met Paddy Considine. I think my only gripe with the photo was... Is that there weren't any individual Yeah, ones. so if anything, I would have loved one of the two Andys to hopefully get... Rafe Spall. Rafe Spall at some point, yeah. so I could get it, I, I could they get it double signed. They did on the pre-order. Fuming. Yeah. But Paddy was amazing. Yeah, he was so lovely. So he's from my neck of the woods around Burton. And he wrote a tweet supporting the Burton College Performing Arts course because it was uh, they were threatening to close it down. So that was amazing. Uh, we were chatting to him about going to download. Mm. He recommended some bands for us. And we were like, we'll see you in the guest area again. And he was like, I'll look out for you. It was like, whoa. Okay, that's special. But to us, he's, he's one of the Andes um, mm. from the Cornetto trilogy. We love him from that. But when we showed it to other people, they were like, oh my God, it's the guy from Game of Thrones. <laughs> the new one, House of the Dragon. And yeah. we're just like, what? Um, <laughs> so I think it was a it was a breath of fresh air for mm. him to not necessarily be talking about that, which was which was nice. Yeah. Please continue. I got Jessica Darrow. Uh, yes, I know it's mainly meant to be horror themed, but you know, she's my twin. So Gareth actually got this for me whilst I was queuing up to get this done. <laughs> so the tables were opposite sides and Gareth was like, it's for my missus, she's over there. She's like, hi, hi, I love you. I love you too. I listen to you at the gym. Me too! <laughs> so we just had this back and forth conversation over the um, walkway and it was very, very funny. But yes, Jessica but she, Darrow. But she wrote something nice. To my twin! Love you, Lou. <laughs> I love her too. I can't wait to see if she goes to another convention so I can properly meet her, but yeah. You might as well do. You might as well do. Um, well, yes, you, um, you saw. I got Craig Sheffer as well. He's a beautiful man. If you don't know who this is... Um watch Nightbreed. Enough and also watch Nightbreed. So this is Craig Sheffer and this is in his role as Aaron Boone from Nightbreed. Nightbreed is a Clive Barker classic and the reason why Clive Barker won't touch filming again because it was that butchered and that snipped up mm. that it just it was borderline didn't make sense anymore. You can get the general gist of the story but it just it's very sad and we spoke to him about it and said mm. i was like look you know was there any more because when you watch it it's obvious that there's there's gaps and he yeah. said honestly it's really sad and it's it's just sad it's really sad but please watch nightbreed uh i'm about to read the book cabal which is aaron Bru aaron boone's new name later on in nightbreed won't spoil it too much for you but it's very very good um, and then I've got a twofer. So at London Comic Con and at For Love of Sci-Fi, I met two cast members from Top Gun, because Top Gun is one of another one of my favourite films. Lou won't touch it because of a certain Mr. Cruz. I just don't like his face. <laughs> I don't like him. I don't like him. But on, anyway, moving on. So I met James Tolkien, who plays Stinger in Top Gun. He's also the principal in Back to the Future. And um, he also I asked if um he could write God damn it Maverick because Maverick is always breaking the rules and annoying him. Uh and then at London Comic Con I met Michael Ironside who plays Jester. And I've I've I love some of Michael Ironside's work. He was also in Scanners. So I could have, yes. got, I could have got scanners, but I thought no, I've, I haven't seen scanners. It's on our list, isn't it? Yeah. If you could recommend one horror movie to us that you know we haven't seen, what would it be? 
comments down below. Comments, well, comments on a postcard. <laughs> oh, yes. 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 Have you have you got any more? I have got I have got more. Yes, please show us. I've only got um, these last. I'll show I'll show you mine quickly. Um, I unfortunately couldn't afford to get his autograph, but I met Dacon Montgomery, aka Billy, from <laughs> Stranger Things. He was I wonderful. Do apologize. <sighs> right, I never said that I was all there. <laughs> anyway, um, I just have the one left. Unfortunately, I couldn't afford his autograph, but hopefully, apparently, he had such a good. Uh, such a good time at for the love of sci-fi that I think he's hoping to come back at some point <sighs> I get a lot of anxiety doing photo ops you wouldn't necessarily believe it from watching the vlogs however what I usually do is I go to the autograph session first to kind of break the ice a little bit and get the feelers out there and then I go and do the photo op but unfortunately I couldn't afford it but that's absolutely fine I've um, got one left I've also got, I'll show you Hugo Weaving before Gareth closes out the video because why not? But yes, haven't personally met Hugo Weaving, but this one managed to source a Hugo Weaving autograph from my favourite Hugo Weaving movie, V for Vendetta. I can't wait to meet him one day. If I don't, I'll be very, very sad. But that monologue. But that monologue. I'm also getting the tattoo of V for Vendetta. I can't wait to show you that. So I'm closing it out. Yeah, go on. With the one that started it all. <laughs> and what I want to start with, but Robert Englund, Freddy Krueger, and just look, just look at the amount of care he puts into his autographs is unreal. The fact that it's colour coordinated. And what did you do? I froze. I wanted to ask him uh, what his favourite moment working on the Elm Street series. And I just walked up to the table and I was like, it's a pleasure to meet you. And sort of froze. I don't do that now. No, to be fair, we've, we've gotten a lot better with meeting guests yeah. at conventions, haven't we? But that's our collection so far and it's only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. So if you do want to continue on our autograph journey, on our convention journey with us. Stay tuned. Please subscribe, for the love of God. We're so close to a thousand now. I can taste it. We're how many away? 53. 53? 53. 53. Not 55. <laughs> they said, oh, he was 55 when I'm 53. 53. Uh, hot fours, watch it. We are so close. We are so, so close. But thank you for watching the video. I hope it was everything you thought it would be. If it's not, I'm sorry. Uh, we're tired. Um, yeah, so we're, we're very lucky. We are very, very lucky. I never anticipated that we would have this sheer volume of autographs. And it's only going to get bigger, like mm. I said. We've already got... I've already got one booked already. Yeah. Alex Anderson, who was Ivar the Boneless in Vikings. Yeah. Um, I will be getting Christina Ritchie at Liverpool, so will Gareth. I will also be getting the guy who played the thing. Yeah, you actually, I you're am, actually doing I it, am, yeah. I am. Um, where's that? Liverpool. Liverpool. Um, Horicon, Doug Bradley. Yeah. And Eileen Dietz. Yes, Eileen Dietz. The face Dietz. of Pazuzu. And the voice of Pazuzu. No. Yes. No. Yes. No, I've looked it up. Oh. <laughs> and they call me a horror fan. Anyway, we hope you've had a good day. If not, that's okay. Always remember, tomorrow's a new day. See you later, guys. Bye.